Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are returning to the Elemental Solar System because damn you guys really enjoyed this episode previously I think over let me just look at it right now before we get started and also just a quick quick thanks for everyone who subscribed we're already closing in on 1900 this is insane I really really think we can get that 2000 before the end of the year but yeah let's see if, let's just keep going with that and try and hit that goal but anyways yeah, um, yeah, on part one, you guys really, really enjoyed this. Like, I'm just looking at it now. It's got tons of likes compared to usual. The views on it are really, really high as well. Like, damn. And uh, there's tons of comments. Over or over 10 of you replied to my part two comments. So you guys really, really wanted this. So, yeah, today we're bringing that out. So, I've looked into the elemental things a little bit more. Because last time I didn't really know much, but... Apparently there's actually eight of them, but the main four are the ones we did previously. So the main four elements are fire, water, earth, and then air, as you can see here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have the other four added in. And then actually also while I'm thinking about it, we're going to remove the background. We're going to have it on just stars because I think it looks better like that. So there's that. Right, so now we look at the new elements. There's four more. So the first four are fire, water, earth, and air. So we've done those. And now there is also... Um, where is it? Nature, ice, light, and darkness are the other four, apparently. So, I could be wrong, but from what I'm seeing, or from what I've read, these are the ones that we're going to do. So, nature, that's definitely going to be a green planet. That is definitely going to be green. But light and darkness, what could we do for those? I, actually, I know what we can do. Alright, so, if I get into here. So, we'll start off with nature, I think. So what I want to do for this is, we'll have it in between water and earth, so I think that's a good mix. But what, what I'm going to do is, we're going to have a little further out. So if we just get a random, yes, we're going to do nature. So we're going to have a random rocky planet. We're going to put it here. Oh, it's Nastaski, our favourite random planet. So there it is. Right, if we just hit play, and then the orbit should be there. Okay, there it is. So we're going to call this guy, we're going to call this one nature, because apparently that's what it calls. So... Oh, wait, did I spell it right? Yeah, N-A-T-U-R, okay. So, let's also, since these are the less fauna, let's have them at half the radius of these. So these are 1500, as we can see here. So about 1500 um, radius. So we're going to have these guys at, what's half of 1500? Um, yeah, 7500. Like that. There we go. So there's nature. So we'll get to customising that in a bit. Alright, so next up we've got uh, oh, the one in between earth and air. I think that will use the light. Yeah, so it's yeah nature, ice, light, and darkness. So, actually, let's have ice here. Let's use this one as ice. So, let's also get another random rocky planet. We'll put it here. So, right in between earth and air. So, we're going to put it like that. And we'll just go ahead and name this one ice. So, let's do that. Oops. Alright, ice like so. Then we'll do 7,500 kilometers in radius, like the other one. Right, the one in between air and fire, we'll have um, we'll have light on this one. And then the one we'll do last is darkness, so we'll have that there. So we'll call you light. So like so, light. And then this one will be darkness, or, or just call it dark. If darkness, or is it just called dark? Oh yeah, light and darkness, okay. So... There's that. Now what we need to do is we need to put them all on the, exactly the same orbit. So if we just look at the stats here. Hmm, should we have a little further out? Mm. Okay, just to be safe, I think we'll have it a little further out. So right now it's 5 AU. Let's have it at 6.4. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, 6.4. Actually, mm, that's a little too far away. Let's just go with um, 6 then. Not, no, um, 6. There we go. Then we'll do the same with you. So we'll have you hit play. Okay, so we'll have you at six as well. So they're all on the same. Then light and dark, we'll also have you at six. And then you as well. So like that. There we go. Right, so they should all have a 12 year orbit period now. So if we just look, 12 years, 12 years, 12 years, and 12 years. Okay, perfect. So darkness, we're going to move you slightly more to the center there. So we want it directly in between fire and water up there. If we just look here, if we just um, turn that off, or have it just on trails, hmm, is it, I think that's a little off actually. The um, with the original planets, I think Earth needs to move a little further. Um, let's have a look. Just gone motion here. I think Earth needs to move a little further this way, like that. Mm. And air as well. Mm, does that need to move? I think we just need to move these slightly. Okay, is that? 
Okay, I think that looks okay. I think that's fine. Then we've got light, darkness in between fire, water, and fire. There, we've got nature in between earth and water at this point here. Okay, that's looking good. Then we've got ice in between earth and air. So there's our there's our eight elements. So now let's get to customizing these. So if we hit play, these should all be completely fine. So if we just look at um, just check up on these 3.74, 3.75. So it looks like we need to edit these just slightly, just to quickly fix them up. So air is 3.76, this is 3.75, so we'll put that to 6. Um, fire is 3.71, so they are slightly moving, but we can't really do much about that. And then 3.76, like so, okay. Looking good. Or oh, is this one a little fishy as well? Actually, oh, okay, now, there we go. So that needs to go there. Fire needs to go pretty much there, and then earth is opposite fire okay that's looking better so then ice we need to move you about in the middle of air and earth light needs to go in between air and fire so like so there darkness is just needs to move you a little bit further so there you go and then nature just need to move you slightly further forward like that okay looking good so now what i want to do is nature so when you think of nature you would think of trees plants and stuff so we're going to make this planet a very very bright green because nature's green right so yeah I, I whenever i think of nature i think of grasslands and trees and stuff so green is definitely the color i'm using for this so there we go is that the good yeah that, that, i think that is a good representation of nature just a green planet i guess we could have a bit of water on it as well since nature like grasslands with lakes and ponds and stuff like that i guess we have a, just a, not too much because the water world is the water planet so we'll just have a tiny tad bit of water on this so there's that and we'll also have an atmosphere on so we just um slow down time a bit like so hit play and then what i want to do is we need to yeah give this bad boy an atmosphere so we'll just we'll just go over uh, two atm to begin with and then put it to zero degrees just to see how warm it gets so we just have to increase the infrared emergency Increase the surface pressure till it starts to warm up in temperature. So as we can see here, the surface temperature is going into the positive temperatures now, which is what we want. Now we just need to lower the water a bit more, because like I said, I don't want too much water here. So if we just hide the um, atmosphere, if we just um, reopen this. Okay, so hide atmosphere and clouds so we can actually see. So we won't have a ton of water, like I said, so just, just a little bit, just to make it look nice. So just do that, rotate it on its side. Okay, so there's a bit of water there, but uh, that's fine. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think that works. Mm, a bit more. Actually, let me just resurface it. There we go. Oh, that's quite a nice um, gas giant colour as well. Hmm, maybe we can go back to that one day. Okay, I just want to get it so there's not too much water. Okay, there we go. That looks a little better. So nature. Yeah, I think mm, that or that. Yeah, that's a little too much. Yeah, we're going to have that. So it's not too much, not too little in my opinion. I think that's fine. If we just go on flashlights, we can see the other side. Yes, yeah, so there's a few little lakes and ponds around here little water areas no oceans i'd just say these are all lakes hmm, actually no, a little bit more i don't want the big water areas that's a little too much if i lower it again hmm, there's not really a good area maybe i just need to play with this option a bit because that can uh, get a more unique um sort of look so does that, does that even do anything this option here anything any anything happening we're removing the mass but is it? Doesn't seem like that option does anything. Huh, interesting. Alright, now now it now it seems like it did. Oh wow, that's way too much water. Um come on, come on, come on. Just just want a good amount, but not too much, not too little. So this is really difficult. I just want just a tiny bit, but not too little. Does that does that work? If we just um, add the atmosphere and stuff, like it'd be less visible. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. I think that's better, so it's not too much. But there is some water ponds there. Hmm. It's quite a hard choice, this. So, overall, that... Yeah, I like that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'll stop forget. I just, I'll stop thinking about it. But yeah, that's fine. So, looking good. And the temperature here is in the positive temperature. But there's not too much water, as we can see. There's barely any water on here. But there is some little lakes and stuff around little ponds and stuff like that if we just look again wait is there any wait where'd they go oh apparently there's none now um if we just oh no no there doesn't even want to do it okay there's some uh... there's a lot more in the north now come on i just want to give me one i want 
Come on. Come on, game. Don't misbehave. Come on. I guess that's the lowest we can have. Right, I'll leave it like that. That's not... They're just big eight. They're not really... They're, that's not an ocean. I just... They're, they're just very large lakes. Okay, that's fine. Right. No more thinking about that. that that's fine. Alright, so next up we've got ice. So you can already imagine what I'm going to do with this one. So we're going to have it in a very white colored planet. But we are going to have a bit of blue in there. Just to make it a little more sort of icy. I don't know. Um, sort of that. Just a very, very pale light blue. So something like that. And then these are just going to be completely white. Just a, just a tad bit of blue, I think, in there will be nice. It's just You can see there's a bit of like blue in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a lot of water on it. So... Like the previous one, I want I want the blue surface to be visible, but I want this to be a completely frozen planet, so that's looking good for ice. So what colour is this up here? I want this colour to be the light blue, so... Now there you go, that. I think that looks really nice. So... Okay, that's um, a little too much. Mm. There you go, so it's got some real ice here, but then we've got this like nice light blue surface colour. That looks good for ice, I think. Maybe just a little bit more. A little bit more water on it. Now, there you go. That, I'm really happy with that. Now, what colour of atmosphere does this have? We could have a blue atmosphere. There you go. Just a, just a slight blue glow to it. But this atmosphere is not really going to do anything. Let's just add it to um, 100,000 kilograms, I think. It's fine. Actually, let's just go, I don't know, 23, I don't know, just some random value in there. Just make it so it's not too small. So, if we hit play, this atmosphere should just... Hopefully it won't put it into the positive temperatures. Okay, perfect. We'll increase the albedo a bit just so it reflects a bit of light. Actually, since it's ice and it'd be a cold planet, let's make it reflect a lot of light. So let's make it reflect 96% of the light it receives. There we go. That's that's pretty cool. So there's that. And that will um, eventually just freeze over. So you can see the water isn't completely frozen yet. It's still a little... Actually, no, I think it's frozen, but it's not fully frozen. If we put it to minus 999, for instance, now it will... Um, solidify and it looks a little more shiny there we go that that is a very nice planet I'm, I'm really happy with that so there's that next up we've got light so hmm all right how can we do this then light when i think of light i'd think of like a st the sun so that'd be a bright yellowy color so there's that's completely white yeah literally completely white so maybe we could have it as yellow to represent light mm, i don't know about this light or actually we could have it as a very hot planet but i don't want it to vaporize as a very very bright white planet so something that glow something glowing in temperature oh we need to put this to 7500 as well so let's go and do that there we go so what if i give this thing a very very heavy atmosphere so i don't want it getting too hot so if i go with a uh, uh, 100 atm maybe is that make it nice and hot make it so it how hot? I want it at like 7,000 degrees. Like, like that. Uh, and I just, no, that's not going to work. Alright. Have to think of different plans. Let's just remove the atmosphere. Light. Maybe we could just have it as a completely white object then. Because I don't really know what else to put for this. I don't want to use any white dwarf stars or anything like that. So, I guess this could represent light and then just have a... Because that does make it look a little similar to the... Um... Yeah, that makes it a little similar to the ice planet. Hmm. Interesting. What if I just go into my custom coloured objects? Maybe we can get a different sort of coloured one. Hmm. If I use yellow. So if I just um Actually no no, I don't wanna I don't wanna um add a new object in. We'll have to roll with this. Okay, um what can we use for light? Well we can always go back to it in another episode, so I reckon we could get a part three out of this series. So yeah, you, you guys tell me, do you want a part three? I'll probably just leave a comment down below and you guys can reply to it like previously, because you guys really, really enjoyed the first episode. So yeah, um if I didn't mention it already, many, many thanks to everyone who um liked that video and supported it, because you guys really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, it's, um makes me feel good if you guys enjoy it. Just I don't know, it's a it's a nice feeling that people appreciate what you do, you know, so yeah, there's that. Okay, I don't know what else to do with light. What what could I do with this? I, I want to keep it a rocky planet. I don't want to turn it to a gas giant or anything. I guess we could just leave it like that for now. Like, I don't know. It's a little similar to the ice planet. But I don't know what to do with it. So, there is the ice planet. And then here's light. So, they are quite similar. Okay, we could increase the blue on this a bit. Make it a little more blue. Yeah, I think that, that works. But this guy, I don't know what to do. Actually, what if we just have it covered in ice? And um, 
the temperature on this needs to really cool down, so let's decrease the infrared efficiency. Just make this guy really, really cold. Hit play. All right, now it should cool down, so let's just put it to minus 99, so it just completely goes to minus 270. Now it looks different to the ice planet. I'm going to leave it like that for now, because that is the brightest, like, that's the lightest colored sort of planet I can get, I think. Yeah, I think, okay, I think that's fine. We just, um, see which one of these looks the brightest. Oh, that's not too good. Nice, bright, sort of shiny looking one. There you go, I think that, I think that works. Okay, so there's that. And it has got plenty of water on it, so, yeah, that will represent light for now. But I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, if you guys got any suggestions of how I could change this, let me know, because, hmm, I'm not so convinced of that. And then darkness, we're going to make this thing completely blacked out, so... Yeah, it's got to represent darkness, so what better colour to use than black, pretty much. So, that is darkness right there. Let's make it um, not reflect any light, so it absorbs all of the light it receives. And then we'll add a... Should we add an atmosphere? No, that looks... Hmm, does that look... Nah, that's too weird. Actually, what if we... Actually, no, maybe I will go back and add a um, planet. What if we use this one, for instance? Then we make it all black, and then have a red atmosphere. I think that could look pretty interesting. So if we just go black, 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 then like that. Could that look... Does that look alright? Mm. No, I think it just looks better without an atmosphere, honestly. But I do want it to be quite hot in temperature. Actually, we could make it so hot in temperature the atmosphere disappears. So if we have it at... Um, if we go to ATM here, let's have it at... Um, let's just start off with 40. How hot is this going to get? Because the atmosphere should disappear at some point, I think. So we don't want it so it we don't want it so it's like the fire planet, because I yeah, I don't want that. So is this atmosphere gonna disappear anytime soon? See is, is it gonna go away? Yeah, no, we we yeah, no atmosphere. It's just gonna have nothing. So it's just a completely blacked out planet. Because that's pretty much what it does. So yeah, it, it it absorbs all the light it receives. So that's pretty cool. It's still cold here, but that's the best we can do it, so. There is that. Yes, it's completely blacked out, and then we're going to put it to 7,500 degrees, like so. Oh, this is interesting. So there's that. So there is our darkness planet. So I think that does it for part two, guys, because what else could I do? I am. I think next episode I'm going to add a set of rings. N not to the planets, but around the star. I think what we can do is we can have a very, very unique ring system here. I think for fire, we'll have a red a red ring system for fire, then we'll have a um, white one for air, then we'll have, um, for the earth, we'll have a brownish, and then water will have blue, then if we go out, we'll have a, a different colour blue for ice, maybe a lighter blue, for nature we'll have green, darkness will have a black ring system, and light will have a very, very bright yellow maybe, and we'll have all of the ring systems lined up together to make one big asteroid belt that covers the whole map maybe, or like the whole system. Yeah, that would be interesting to think about. We can test around with that in next episode. But yeah, that does it for today's episode, guys. Because, yeah, I need your suggestions on this one. So I don't know really what I don't know what else to add other than a ring system. Like, if you guys have got any tips, then, yeah, let me know. Because I don't know what else to add for this. I don't know. The ring system, we could have, maybe we could add some moons, maybe? But yeah, you guys let me know in the comments down below. I'll, I'll obviously add my own input in when we make the episode as well. But yeah, just let me know. So... Yeah, now if we just um, make sure we save this, because we do not want to um, lose this. We'll just call it Elemental System, like so. Oh, no, I don't need two S's. There we go. S, Y, S, T, M. Okay, so save. Okay, there we go. So we've got it saved. Wait, is it saved? Let me just check. Okay, so it's that system there. That's part of, That's some previous episode. Then we've got this one here. So there's that. So if we hit play now, and just speed up, our planet should all go around the star very nicely, as we can see here. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that, they're all in the same orbit. That is really cool. And the orbits aren't wobbling or anything. Like, this is a perfect system. Look at this. This is so cool. So there you go, guys. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you did hit that like button, subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year, because that would be awesome. Cannot thank you guys enough. And yeah, if you've got any suggestions for what we can do in part three, then um, let me know down below in the comments. And also, stay tuned for my Christmas special solar system, which will be coming soon as well. So yeah, there we go. Anyways, make sure you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.